18 children died last year. That's what the parents of a small village told me when I visited them back in 2007. Another charity had built a memorial with a name to the children on it, yet they left without addressing the underlying issues that caused the death of the kids. These people came down to this village from the mountains in hope of finding opportunities to earn a much better living for their families. Instead, they found even more poverty. In their little village, there's no electricity and no running water, and their homes are all made of mud and straw. During my first visit, their desperate needs broke my heart. Often the women and children would have to walk about half a mile into the desert to water holes to get their water. The old well in their village would dry up to the point where they could only pump a trickle of water out of it. The parents at that time had great fear for the uncertain futures of their children. They didn't want them to grow up not knowing how to read or write and to be trapped in an unending cycle of poverty. Before a GFA pastor arrived, there was no one who would listen to them. No one. And no one even cared about them. Our GFA national missionary took the time to listen to them and address their needs. He saw that they needed water, and he saw that the children needed an education. Three years later, when I came back to this community, I discovered that they now have a Jesus well, and our ministry was meeting the educational needs of the children. It was just amazing to see the transformation that was taking place in this village. Even their houses are better built, and they have a new school building. The women and children no longer had to spend hours gathering water. In fact, everyone in the village is now able to get clean, safe water all day long from the new Jesus well. And the children can bathe and brush their teeth with fresh, cool, clean, healthy water. And when the temperature is climbing well over 100 degrees, there is nothing like a nice cold bucket of water poured over your head. Through our children's ministry, we're able to meet the educational and nutritional needs of the kids. Parents no longer worry about their children starving to death. In fact, no one mentioned anything about children dying from starvation or waterborne illnesses during the last couple of years since we put in the Jesus well. The GFA worker who oversees our children's ministry in the area has become like family to the children and to the parents. Every morning from about 10 to noon, he visits the children and their families in the village. He's like a loving big brother to all the kids. Often, when he's walking through the village, the children will gather from all around to greet him. They'll just run up to him laughing and chatting with great love and joy. The love that he has for the children and the love that they have for him is quite evident. Everywhere I went, people shared how grateful they are for everything that our ministry has done to improve their lives and community. I was amazed and happy to see so many happy, smiling people this time. I want to say thank you for your continued support in helping us transform villages and communities all around the world, just like this one has been changed. Thank you so much.